you will be spending the whole week working on your project two, your response essay. Now, I hope you are coming into this week feeling pretty confident because actually over the course of the past couple of weeks, you have been writing what you consider you could consider to be drafts for essay two. Remember, essay two is your response to a particular author or text or the connections or tensions you see between a few authors, um, ideas or texts. In fact, if you finish discussion 12, at least the part where you post your own ideas, you could, you actually probably have a draft, if you want to use it, that um, could work as a draft for your response essay. Uh, a few, there are a few things I want you to keep in mind. We're going to spend the whole week working on your essay, so I'd like you to, over the course of this week, check out the, I would say, digital handouts that are in week nine about the thesis statement, introductions and conclusions, um, what a two-part title is, uh, and what how you create a work cited. Those will all help you kind of put finishing touches on your essay. I also want you to keep a few things in mind. Um, you are writing a response to a particular author, that means your ideas and your experiences, especially when it comes to the topic of academic writing, are very, very important. So I want you to feel completely free to use your own experiences and knowledge when you are analyzing uh, a particular position or um, responding with a particular argument. Your essay can be mostly analytical, mostly reflective, or mostly persuasive. It just depends on whatever stance you feel like you want to take. Uh, please also feel free to code mesh in this essay. So you can take langu a language or languages you are comfortable with um, or uh, want to experiment with and mesh them together uh, with whatever is the primary language you're using to write your essay. I really encourage that. However, I also want you to remember that in this essay, I'm asking you to include challenging or complicating evidence. So for instance, if you are writing an essay that seems a little bit more like a persuasive argument, you will want to consider at least one of the arguments that challenge your ideas or claims. If you are writing a more analytical or reflective essay, you still want to include others' ideas, um, but you might consider that more complicating rather than challenging evidence. In any case, just uh, include the voices of some authors who have ideas that are not just like yours. If you are going for an A-level essay, you'll want to include at least three sources. And what I mean by that are the sources that we have used for class. You do not have to do any outside research. Um, if you're going for a B essay, you can use only two sources. And if you're going for a C essay, your response can just be your response to one particular text or idea. Uh, I would love for you to take a look at the rubric for essay two, uh, which I have not formatted very well, but it does give you um, an understanding of all the different things that I'll be asking you to consider and include in your essay. So um, remember that your audience is once again, not only me um, or our class members, but future English 101 students. So your essay should have the type of introduction introduction that allows your reader to make sense of what you're writing about without knowing our assignment or having read the text that we've read. Um, and then you'll go through and you'll see that um, you, I'm asking you to include an introduction or something kind of like one, um, a thesis or main idea, uh, you, you're going to use MLA format, uh, you'll support your ideas with evidence from course text, or and also you'll complicate or challenge your ideas with um, other evidence from other authors um, and i also want you to remember that you can also if you're looking at this rubric and feeling a little bit challenged you can also actually um, problematize and challenge those requirements as well um, if you want to be in uh, dialogue with me about that please um, just let me know and we can email my office hours